hello everyone so in this video i will explain after update trigger so what will happen trigger will execute after the update statement okay so let me take this syntax and i am creating the table so what will happen when i update the statement this statement will execute and then after that this trigger will execute so why do we want to create a trigger after uh, like why do we want to execute trigger after the execution of the update statement so simple thing i just want to store the log okay so when i update the statement what will happen uh, when we update the statement and there is a trigger on the table then what will happen uh, the insert like the previous data means before update that will store in deleted table and after update means the new data will store in inserted table so i have to see like what like on which id i had updated so for that uh, i have to check a uh, deleted table okay so in the deleted table uh, that data will store so let's see uh, create trigger trigger name on table then after and then on update dml statement as begin then i declared id and date time okay after that what i am doing select at the rate id from deleted table and get date time means system date time that will uh, give me the value when the data was updated okay so very simple i think this table so same error there is a already an object name so let's delete this sorry drop this so it's dropped now i can recreate so i have created now so let me execute this let's change for 34 okay so let me execute this zero affected let me check the data Actually, I think uh, we have no value, no row where id is equal to 34. So let me check for 23. Okay. So let's update this. Now let's see the data in the log data. What is there? In the log data, we can see id 23 event updated. And when it updated, we have the time. Okay. So if we, uh, let's see some another example also. select star from employee so id 23 now the salary is 25000 okay now i want to update for id 24 and salary i just want to give 35000 that's it okay so let's execute this so after execute let's see the employee value for 24 24 salary is 35000 so same thing should be updated like this should be updated in uh, log data you can, we can see updated like uh, we had we have made change in id what changed we have updated the value when the time is there so this is all about after de delete trigger in sql server thank you